Right, guys, please excuse um, me uh, mumbling around. I'm just recording this video on the fly. Um, I realize that um, there's going to be more than a few of you that are, uh, got yourself in a pickle uh, over this situation. Um, you've got this um, NAS drive, Zytel NSA 310. Uh, Zytel, I don't know, there's different various ways to pronounce it, but anyway. If you've got this NAS drive, and um, even if you've got any NAS drive in this same series, I believe there's a, at least a two or three others, um, but nevertheless, the NSA 310 was the most popular. I got it a good, good few years ago, uh, and it is a NAS drive that pretty much enhanced my life, um, mainly to do with um, the torrenting capabilities and just how easy it was. Um, to just change over hard drives uh, and get up and running again. Anyway, you're probably visiting this video because you are missing some of the packages, uh, the, the little applications that uh, were available um, via the firmware for this NAS drive. They were available to just download and install at will um, officially. Something happened, uh, the company has removed support for the NAS drive um, and although you can get the NSA starter utility, um, you can get the firmware, you can load it up, it's a little tricky to get, but I've got some good news for you. Um, I've made everything available in a link down below, but anyway, stick around with this video while I carry on, okay? So the, screen, the, the NAS drive that you see on the screen, that's the one I've got. I had a hard drive failure. Uh, went and got a new hard drive, um, plonked it in, and uh, went on the hunt for the NSA starter utility. And I found it, it was a little tricky to get, but um, I downloaded it, um, installed it on my Windows computer, it's an EXE file. I installed it and uh, it got the, the firmware. And um, it installed. I've basically got the firmware as well in the in the shared folder that I'll, I've linked to down below uh, and it all went well I installed the firmware got it up and running logged in um, and went straight to the packages screen because I wanted to get uh, transmission it's a little application that I use for torrenting and it was the main function of this hard drive so I was a little bit you know cheesed off uh, that when I went to this screen, I'm going to pop it up on the on the screen now for you all to see on YouTube. Uh, I went to firmware packages, uh, and then I I clicked on a package, and I did the search looking. Let me just put let me just put it up on the screen here. I clicked on retrieve list from internet uh, and it looked like it was connecting to the internet um, and then it came back with this uh, error currently there are no packages please use retrieve list from the internet to update package list all right so it wasn't working I done a, an, I reinstalled the firmware again wiped the hard drive reinstalled the firmware done all that la 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 didn't work so um, went searching on the net couldn't find any of these package files and um, yeah I was really cut up because basically the hard drive was useless to me at the end of this so um, I went on to my old hard drive and it was just on its last legs I barely booted it up uh, went to the admin zy hyphen pkgs folder and extracted these zpkg files these are the package files for the for the applications um, and I extracted them got them off got them onto USB um, and the hard drive failed almost in, almost immediately afterwards um, the lights were just the light was just blinking on on the NSA 310 um, and it was dead so I, I, I just about got these files off um, and I loaded them up uh, put the old new hard drive back in, install the firmware, put it all fresh, put it, put the USB back into the front of the NSA and um, accessed it. 
via the fresh install to the new hard drive. And lo and behold, what you see on the screen now is my recovered firmware, well, packages for these applications. In there, you can see transmission. Uh, you can see the smart app that reports the hard drive state. That was quite useful. NFS. Uh, Google Drive doesn't work anymore. Email, I don't know if it works anymore. DYN, DNS, I don't know if it works anymore. But Squeeze Center does work. Transmission does work. Um, smart does work. NFS works. And I'm not sure if the MySQL one works, but I, have, I still have to try it. But anyway, nevertheless, I've uh, managed to retain these, guy, these files for you. So... Just to recap, go to the link down below, download the whole zip file, it's from Google, it's from Google Drive, uh, download the whole zip file, um, extract the files that I have in, um, let me just quickly check, extract the files that I've put in the zip folder under, in another folder called zy-pkgs um, and uh, copy it straight to the folder in the same on your directory on your new in on your new high drive on the same directory um, which is under admin and then the folder zy hyphen pkgs just like you see on the screen just copy those files straight over onto that um, and then you go back to the firmware screen and click retrieve list from internet and bam you'll see all of them there ready to use that's the end of this video um thanks for sticking around i'm sorry it's such a long one um please subscribe let me know in the comments down below if you need any more help and i'll try my best to help you out over and out